revolution experienced all of the existential uncertainties and moral ambiguities of a struggle for liberation under conditions of civil war and foreign occupation. The less we see historical actors as playing theoretically coherent roles, the more universally acceptable, acceptable their human dilemmas become. Perhaps the most deadly blow to imperialism would be to proclaim loyalty to an idea of universal humanity by rejecting the presumption of any political, religious, ethnic, civilizational, or class collectivity to embody this idea as its exclusive or exclusionary possession. So I'm not too happy about the way um, in hate after the revolution the politics is one of sort of producing a story of national heroism, much like the U.S. or France. In other words, there was a kind of construction among Haitian politicians of, you know, the founding of the nation, founding power, um, revolutionary hero, uh, a kind of glorification of a certain kind of military violence and everything that goes along with it. Whereas, for me, the, the extraordinary and irreplaceable and singular significance of the Haitian Revolution is that no place at the time, no place, not in Europe, not in the colonies, and no place in Africa was the institution of slavery actually overcome, or that claim put out that it ought to. This was, this was a brand new idea in this country. And for me, the, um, the glory of it, the, the wonder of it, is it, it, it magnified. Rather than, oh, then Haiti too can do a revolution. Even if it's a, you know, CLR James talking in those terms. To me, it, it's uh, more powerful to think of it as this one-time human occurrence that had never 